This is ABC 7 News at 6. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Beth Jones. And I'm Peter Dubois. First tonight, police are investigating a fatal accident that took place in Bangor this morning. Sergeant Wade Better says a man was struck by a pickup truck outside 666 Finson Road just before 7.30 a.m. The pedestrian suffered serious injuries and was taken to a local hospital for emergency medical treatment, but the man passed away at the hospital. That crash remains under investigation. No charges have been issued thus far. The Kennebec County Sheriff's Office is investigating is investigating a stabbing that took place early yesterday evening. The Sheriff's Office says around 516 p.m. on Tuesday, deputies responded to the area of 553 Main Avenue in Farmingdale for a report of a stabbing. Police say a 31-year-old male victim who was from Farmingdale had been stabbed multiple times and was taken to Maine General Medical Center. A sheriff's office canine unit began tracking the suspect who fled the scene. The sheriff's office says the canine eventually pushed the suspect back toward the scene. 26-year-old 20, Hector Rivera of Gardner was arrested and also transported to MGMC for medical issues. Rivera has been charged with elevated aggravated assault, violation of conditions of release, unlawfully furnishing a Schedule W, Schedule w drugs, refusing to submit to arrest or detention, and falsifying physical evidence. No bail is being allowed at this time. Fire destroyed a home and business in Drew Plantation near Danforth this morning. Crews from eight towns and Maine Forest Rangers helped put out the fire. No one was injured. The homeowners woke up to flames in the house at about 2 a.m. A family member says one of the buildings burn that burned was the Elves and Angels Toy Company that had been in business for 34 years. According to the family member, they lost everything in the fire, including hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of boxed inventory waiting to be shipped to children around the country. They say they also lost hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of tools and a lifetime of special memories that Oh, that they had accumulated over 52 years of marriage. At this point, they have no idea what started the fire. A GoFundMe page has been set up to help them, and you can find that link on our website, foxbangor.com. Recent mass shootings have inspired students across the country to rally, demanding lawmakers push for gun safety legislation. As Sierra Jordan reports, one Bangor High School student attended that rally and says it's time for change. We are here today to demand our senators do their jobs. Yeah. RA, get out of our way. In wake of the elementary school mass shooting in Uvalde, Texas, gun safety groups gathered at Capitol Hill in Washington, D.C. for a three-day gun safety rally. The rally included members of Congress, gun violence survivors, gun safety advocates, and more. Why would someone be against raising the age so that teenagers do not have AK-47? We will make history by making progress. Students Demand Action is a nationwide program of high school and college students demanding action to prevent gun violence. Don't look away. Group members stood shoulder to shoulder wearing bulletproof vests as congressional leaders spoke. Bangor High School student Madison Miller was among the speakers of the rally. We see shootings happen at a school and at grocery stores and we kind of we're, we're kind of like desensitized to the emotions and so I feel like for me like it's hard to process it when it's just over and over and over again. Miller says she traveled to Washington DC with one other main student for the rally. She says she spoke to several lawmakers including Senators Susan Collins and Angus King. I talked about how um, gun legislation we need to stick with gun legislation and make it so that this doesn't happen again and our the next generation of children don't have to deal with being scared to go to school it currently has a yellow flag law this permits police to take away guns from people who are a danger to themselves and to others however miller says maine should explore enacting a red flag law to prevent mass shootings in the future it, if you can regulate like cars and stuff like that, you, I think it, there are reasonable ways to to regulate gun um, gun ownership and make it more safe and more responsible. I'm Sierra Jordan reporting for ABC 7 and Fox 22. 
The Department of Inland Fisheries and Wildlife has announced Maine's annual Moose Lottery Festival will take place this Saturday, June 11th at the Jackman Town office. The annual event attracts hunters from around the state anxious to hear whether they will be one of the roughly 4,000 hunters selected from a pool of nearly 70,000 licensed hunters. Being selected from the lottery provides a chance at the hunt of a lifetime and the festival celebrates that accordingly. A variety of events will kick off at 10 a.m., including, but not limited to, Moose Mania monster truck rides, face painting, and a bouncy house, gotta have a bouncy house, live music, axe throwing, cross-cut sawing, as well as a number of stage presentations like a moose calling contest and a comedy show. At 2 p.m., the drawing of the lottery will commence, which is expected to last about three hours. There is no charge to attend the lottery, and the names of permit winners will be posted on the department's website by 6 p.m. that same day. Well, Governor Janet Mills announced today a $15 million investment for state parks across the state. As part of the Maine Jobs and Recovery Plan, the funding will allow for better visitor experience, structural upgrades and maintenance, and improvements to safety and environmental standards. Department of Agriculture, Conservation and Forestry Commissioner Amanda Beal, Bureau of Parks and Lands Director Andy Cutco, and others made the announcement, which they say comes after a successful 2021 tourism season, during which the state welcomed more than 3.3 million visitors, generating more than $100 million for the economy. Beal talked about the importance of this historic investment. There hasn't been a lot of investment in state park infrastructure in quite some time. In fact, it's been about 15 years, and I think it was only several, several million dollars at that point. We know that this is going to put a huge dent in the kinds of projects that we really need to do for state parks. With the funding, the Maine Future Board has now approved more than 25 new projects, as well as other projects focused on preserving working lands. Something that most Mainers, I think, uh, really are, is really near and dear um, to their hearts. You know, we, we really care about our natural resources here in the state. I think we're really, you know, we're very proud of them. We're proud of how it attracts people from all over the country and all over the world to come mm. visit Maine and see everything, all the beauty that is here. Yeah. And then those of us who live here just treasure having this amazing resource right in our own backyard. So yeah. definitely important to safeguard it and uh, keep it there for generations to come. Absolutely, and today right. maybe not the best day that people to are going to go out and see it, right. yeah, exploring the state though, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, we'll turn things over to Jeff Weller and take a first look at our forecast. All right, Beth and Peter, thank you. Happy Wednesday. Your first weather is brought to you by Scott's Recreation with offices in Turner, Manchester, Herman, and Orono. And all right, so today temperatures rain cooled 60s out there today. That's all right. Tomorrow back up near 70 and even warmer temperatures are in the five day forecast. Lots of rain showers out there today, but now we are getting a break. There'll be a break tonight into tomorrow morning, but there is more rainfall on the way. It's not too far away either across the Great Lakes. That is moving our way for tomorrow and likely throughout the afternoon. Some locally heavy rainfall back in the forecast tomorrow. Our forecast tonight though is partly cloudy skies, actually mostly clear skies for a couple hours with low temperatures down near 50. Your full forecast is coming up. Beth and Peter. All right, so hopefully that rain that we were putting up with all day kind yeah. of takes its leave right. by tomorrow morning, but we'll see. Absolutely. At least things looking pretty clear overnight. Yep. Well, coming up on ABC 7 News at 6, how the Down East Family YMCA will be debuting its new Blue Lobsters program this fall. And the story of a lifelong Mainer advancing to the quarterfinals of an international fitness competition. We'll have that story and much more after this. Dirt. It's where we came from, where we play, and where we work. It's under our fingernails, sometimes in our teeth, and always in our blood. Dirt. Let's go get some on us. CF Moto. At Coveside, wheel and ski in Newport. Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, and Elizabeth Warren, they're all attacking America's tech innovators. The left's radical liberal bill would take away the digital tools small businesses rely on, empower China to beat America in the race for new technologies, and increase the risk of cyber attacks. Why would Senate conservatives support this dangerous bill that threatens American innovation? Call Senator Susan Collins. Tell her to stand up for American jobs and America's security. 
For the best selection in classic and contemporary furnishings, stop by Richard Parks Furniture on High Street in Ellsworth. Handcrafted New England made bedrooms and dining rooms, imported Scandinavian recliners and upholstery, more than 40 lines of furniture for the home and patio. Richard Parks Furniture is your number one stop for quality, functionality, and well-designed furniture at affordable prices. Richard Parks Furniture. Discover Richard Parks. 132 High Street in Ellsworth. Discover Richard Parks. Fathers play a special role in people's lives. And this Father's Day, ABC7 and Fox 22 want to help you show your dad how much he is appreciated with a special Father's Day giveaway. We're giving away a $50 gift certificate from Village Variety in Glenburn, a $50 gift certificate from Tossie's Checkout Convenience Store in Glenburn, and a $50 gift card from Body Graphics Studio in Hamden. All you have to do is go to our Facebook page, Fox ABC Maine, and like and comment. It is said that the eyes are the windows into the soul, which begs the question, can a window have a soul? At Renewal by Anderson, we think so. When it's a window forged from fibrance and over 100 years of refined craftsmanship, the essence of who we are transforms into a superior, stunningly beautiful window. So yes, a window can have a soul. For a limited time, take advantage of this great offer. Find out why we are the better way to a better window. Renewal by Anderson. If you've been injured in an accident, tell them you mean business. Welcome back, everybody. The Down East Family YMCA will kick off a new program geared toward recreation soon. Our Dylan Holloway stopped by the facility and has the details. This fall, the Down East Family YMCA will be debuting its new Blue Lobsters program. According to Program Director Elizabeth Stanley, the initiative will fill a need in the community as part of the YMCA's For All mission. The Blue Lobsters program is a program for kids with disabilities that provides recreational opportunities for them so that they can take part in things like soccer, basketball, art, music, that kind of thing. Stanley says the program will help kids and young adults ages 5 to 18 to thrive through recreational activities and opportunities. She says the project is near and dear to her heart because of her daughter, Abby. I have a daughter who was diagnosed with autism and the poor kid probably has more bleacher time from going to her sister's sporting events than any other kid her age and just constantly being met with, Mom, what can I do? What can I do? Stanley says it became her mission to provide a place for Abby and other kids to grow, learn, and play. This is much more than just a program to Stanley. She says she wants to build a community. I just said, you know what, I'm going to find something for you to do. I'm going to make something for you to do. And talking with other moms that are in similar situations, we decided now's the time to provide an opportunity for these kids. Three informational sessions are scheduled for parents to learn more about the Blue Lobsters program, as well as give input on potential activities. The first session is set to take place at 5 p.m. June 30th at the Moore Community Center. For more information, you can go to defymca.org. Reporting from Ellsworth, I'm Dylan Holloway for ABC7 and Fox 22. A lifelong Mainer is making a run at an international fitness competition and is inspiring others along the way. Jamie Rogers of Pasadumkeg has recently advanced to the quarterfinal round of the Miss Health and Fitness online competition. The contest consists of individuals telling their fitness stories, including how fitness has positively influenced their lives. People can vote on which stories they find the most inspiring, and the contestants with the most votes will advance to the next round. Rogers says she's lost 130 pounds during her personal fitness journey. The thing that this journey, not only my weight loss journey, but this contest journey has offered me is an exorbitant amount of inspiration from others. The first place winner of the competition will be given the title of Miss Health and Fitness, grace the cover of Fitness Hers magazine, and take home $20,000 cash. Rogers says she wants to use the prize money to fulfill her dream of participating in a half marathon in all 50 states. Very inspiring. Very inspiring indeed. Well, something not so inspiring. The number of states with gas prices closing in on $5 a gallon continues to grow, and now experts say a new threat could make things worse. ABC's Morgan Norwood has more with what this could mean for your wallets and the overall economy. From the East Coast. I've been trying to just walk more places that I can. To the West. 
This is horrendous. Americans all over the country are feeling the strain from the skyrocketing gas prices. We now have 14 different states where the average has already surpassed that $5 gallon mark and seeing some tremendous increases. The spike due in part to soaring demand overseas, supply concerns, and the war in Ukraine. And with hurricane season underway, prices could surge even higher. President Biden says in the short term, there's little that he can do to lower gas prices. So in the meantime, many are looking to lawmakers to help. In fact, states like New York and Connecticut have waived their gas tax temporarily, while states like California have talked about sending out gas rebates, but those talks still stalled. I just want to make my living and I feel like I'm getting, you know, stripped in a way in order to do that. And relief may not come as quickly. In fact, as oil and gas become more expensive, some economists say the risk of a recession, job losses, business bankruptcies, a slowdown goes up. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen calling the inflation we're seeing unacceptable, urging Congress to provide more affordable housing and bring down prescription drug prices. In designing a policy, there are various risks that need to be taken into account. Of course, inflation was one of them, but the overwhelming risk was that Americans would be scarred by a deep and long recession. And with America approaching a national average price of $5 per gallon, analysts say that will likely prompt more American families to take a closer look at their spending habits. I'm Morgan Norwood, ABC News, Los Angeles. And that's something that you and I have been talking about for weeks now about maybe adjusting how often we eat out or right. you know do other things, maybe not getting that extra item on Amazon because right. it re like the impact is now you know on a regular basis. Mm. And you know both of us drive fuel efficient smaller vehicles, and it's it's still it's unbelievable how much a tank of gas is costing us these days. Yeah, you know it hurts pulling up to the pump and seeing you know seeing that price. Uh, yeah. You know you were just telling me you're dreading having to go fill up your car. I have car to go fill well. up today. And I'm not happy yeah. about it. And it really makes it harder yeah. when, you know, it's tis the season to get out and about, explore the area more. But, yeah, uh, yeah anything you can do to, to try to save a penny here or there, it helps. It does indeed. Yeah. All well, right. Still to come on ABC 7 News at 6. We'll have Dave Peck live outside the garden as the Celtics prepare to take on the Warriors in Game 3 of this year's NBA Finals. Don't go anywhere. Big trucks rule the road. They're dangerous, and they can cause big, bad injuries. But the big trucking companies don't stand a chance against me. I'm Jim with Lowry & Associates. If you've been hurt by a big truck, call the twos. We win for you. Take your waterfront experience to the next level with a Shoremaster dock system from Hammond Lumber Company. Your Hammond sales representative will walk you through Shoremaster's many options and accessories and match you with the right equipment for your waterfront. And with Shoremaster, it's easy to make future changes or additions. Shoremaster docks are easy to install, but Hammond can arrange for professional installation if needed. And statewide delivery is available. Enjoy life on the water to the fullest with Shoremaster from Hammond Lumber Company. Hey, Bangor residents. The City of Bangor is offering up to $2,000 in grants for income-eligible single-family homeowners if you install a new Fujitsu heat pump in your home. And Valley Home Services is an authorized Fujitsu installer. Up to $2,000. Combine that grant with rebates from Efficiency Maine, and you can have a new Fujitsu heat pump installed by Valley Home Services at little to no cost. Don't miss this incredible offer, Bangor. Call Valley Home Services today to see if you qualify. Hey, it's Eric from Green Bear 420. We've been in business since 2010 and going strong, so stop in and check us out. We specialize in glass art by over 100 local artists and even have live glass blowing. Plus, we carry incense, novelties, t-shirts, and hard-to-find items. We have tons of local products for the tie-dye wearing person in your circle of friends. Come see us at 531 Moosehead Trail in Newport. And remember, Green Bear 420, it's not just a store, it's a lifestyle. Dirk Bentley. Beers on Me Tour 2022. June 23rd, Maine Savings Amphitheater, Bangor, Maine. And he's bringing along special guests, Ashley McBride. And Travis Denning. 
Dirks Bentley, live in concert. On sale now at waterfrontconcerts.com or ticketmaster.com. Part of the Varney Insurance Concert Series. When Moosehead Trail Home and Heart wants to know the local forecast, they log on to foxbangor.com. Want to help keep your neighbors warm? Moosehead Trail Home and Heart is looking for HVAC technicians. Apply today at Moosehead Trail Home and Heart in Abbott or on our website. Tonight's sports is brought to you by Mainly Supplements near the Bangor Mall. We provide a variety of protein, pre-workout, vitamins, and healthy snacks to fuel your body for a peak performance. Welcome back in, everyone. Thank you for staying with us. A big night down in Boston with the Celtics taking on the Warriors in Game 3 of the NBA Finals. That game is in Boston, and that is where we find Dave Peck. Live outside the Garden, Dave, what is the scene down there? One side, you got Paul McCartney playing at Fenway Park. On the other side here, it is Game 3 of the NBA Finals. All basketball here. The energy has just been building and building and building as the day has gone on. But most recently, a lot of Warrior fans came in and overtook part of the Garden for just a little bit. Then the Celtics fans charged back with a cheer of their own, and rightfully so, because the first NBA Finals game played here at the Garden since 2010. Of course, in Game 1 of this series, it was the Celtics who were absolutely dominant over the Warriors here, shooting the three, but really kind of a disaster in Game 2. Ime Udoka benched the starters with over 10 minutes left, down by nearly 30. They turned the ball over 19 times, worth 33 Warrior points. And you can say what you want about the rest, frankly, I'm tired of it, but the Celtics got bullied even a little bit rallied, especially by Draymond Green, too. We've seen this team have these sort of moments throughout the playoffs, whether it was against the Heat, whether it was against the Bucks. They've been able to come back and put together a good game after maybe a sloppy game. Discipline, defense first, that is going to be the key here as they get ready for game three. You gotta trust and understand and believe in your uh, teammates in, in the game plan. So, you know, it's not getting ourselves too far into traffic to where uh, we only have one decision. And, and, and it's not a very good one. So um, I think that that will help us a lot, um, just making things very simple for us. Uh, Got to have carryover and consistency in that area. You know, we looked at the numbers overall. We're 13-2 and two when we have 15 or less turnovers in the playoffs, and we're 0-5 and five when we have 16 or more. So that kind of tells the story. And just one more quick stat for you. Historically speaking, and you've probably heard this, if not now, you'll hear it at least during the broadcast on ABC, the winner of a game three, when the series has been tied at one apiece in the NBA Finals, has gone on to win the title 82% of the time. So for me to say this is a big game is just basically a waste of breath. We'll have plenty of coverage throughout the night at 10 o'clock on Fox 22 as well. During the game, we may even stop into one of the local watering holes and get some uh, authentic voice of the Celtics fans. And then, of course, we'll see you after the game right here for a full report on ABC7. For now, we'll send it back to Tyler in the studio. Thanks for that, Dave. Wish you were closer. I'd say save me a spot at one of those watering holes. The first NBA Finals game in like 12 years in the city. I remember the first one I watched back in 2008, and I got to say, I've been following this team just as much, if not more, as those C squads from my childhood. All right, moving on now in some high school sports playoffs. Continuing today, a lot of teams taking to the turf to avoid the rain and puddles and whatnot. Lacrosse, no different. Brewer Witches hosting their first playoff game error. Mount Ararat, they are the visitors, and they are trying to pull it out. Back and forth all game. Close one early, which is up 5-3. Eagles coming back. B-button here. Fires it through the five hole. It is a one-goal game. Coming back down now, the Witches answer back. This one, top shed right past the goalie. This was, like I said, back and forth all night. Mount Ararat coming back into this one. This one finds the back of the net. And then on the other end for Brewer, it's Ryder Goodwin. He's going to get some good positioning here on the catch. Sets him up nicely for the score. Which is led 7-5 at half. Would not give up the lead at all. Quick play here. Easy goal in front of the net. Bounces that one in. And Brewer goes on to win its first playoff game ever. 10-8 to is the final. All righty, that's sports. Here's Jeff Weller with your full five-day forecast. Jeff? All right, Tyler, thank you. Look what we did today. Low 60s for highs. Not normal, I know. Rain-cooled and cloud-cooled air out there today. Tomorrow, kind of the same story, uh, followed by warmer temperatures in the five-day forecast. Like tomorrow, 
We're going to get another round of rain showers in here, most likely through the afternoon. That will help to hold high temperatures tomorrow back in the low to mid 60s again. For today, lots of rain showers earlier, but now the skies have cleared out. There's some dense fog in there tonight. Uh, we'll get a many hours now of some dry skies this evening into tomorrow before our next blob of moisture comes our way. That's working its way across the Great Lakes right now. There's a, quite a lot of moisture headed our way for tomorrow afternoon. Here's tomorrow morning looking at rain showers getting going once again south and west of our area, but then by midday looking at more rain showers and by tomorrow evening, this is a batch of heavy rain. It's going to come through before say four o'clock tomorrow evening. Uh, that could be some locally heavy rainfall in there that could lead to some localized flooding. We've had lots of rainfall across the area lately, and then that's going to push out of here tomorrow evening, and then we'll still keep a few showers going Thursday night and early parts of Friday, but overall, all of this should clear out of here before we get to the weekend. The weekend's looking pretty nice right now, especially Saturday, before we get some more rain showers potentially in here on Sunday. But overall, lots of rainfall on the way, so get ready for that once again after we get a break in the action tonight and throughout the day tomorrow morning into tomorrow afternoon. So I'm going to run this into Monday. We're talking another inch or two of rainfall is on the way, specifically more like later tomorrow afternoon and evening and early parts of Friday morning. That's when the heaviest rainfall is on the way. Right now, the wind is out of the south around 10 miles per hour. That's giving us just enough of an onshore breeze to keep it a bit colder along the coastal areas this afternoon. Uh, but that will go away tonight. And the uh, advisories, too, this is a small craft advisory for tomorrow morning with wave heights out here onshore. Wave heights approaching 8 to 10 feet throughout the day tomorrow. All right, the allergies are up there still. Of course, tree pollen in the high category, moderate to high category. Grass is low and weed as well. Uh, mold is moderate. This will probably fluctuate this weekend as lots of you'll be mowing your lawns on Saturday into Sunday. All right, going forward though, temperature wise tonight, 55 degrees for our low temperature. Lots of clouds out there. Some dense fog is likely. Uh, there'll actually be a couple breaks in the clouds several hours tonight into early parts of tomorrow morning. For tomorrow, all right, so the morning hours look pretty quiet, followed by showers and storms most likely by midday. Those will linger into tomorrow evening. Any of those most likely not severe, but locally heavy rainfall with high temperatures back in the 60s. And then looking ahead, your five-day forecast includes Lose more storms tomorrow. Friday looking pretty good. Rain showers early, followed by clearing throughout the afternoon. There is the weekend. So Saturday, 76, lots of clouds around. Sunday, a couple more thunder showers and high temperatures back in the mid 70s. Beth? All right, so boomers coming our way tomorrow. Indeed. All, All right. Ready. We'll be ready for it. Well, still more to come after the break. Stay with us. Shop Jordan's Furniture now, and it could all be free. Visit Jordan's.com. Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, and Elizabeth Warren, they're all attacking America's tech innovators. The left's radical liberal bill would take away the digital tools small businesses rely on, empower China to beat America in the race for new technologies, and increase the risk of cyber attacks. Why would Senate conservatives support this dangerous bill that threatens American innovation? Call Senator Susan Collins. Tell her to stand up for American jobs and America's security. It's graduation time, and alas, many are not exactly sure what their new qualification will bring them. But for the clever few, well, they know that Toyota could reward their hard work with an impressive $500 rebate on any new Toyota. That's right, recent and soon-to-be college grads could get a $500 rebate over and above already great Toyota financing offers. So see your New England Toyota dealer today. Toyota, let's go places. Comfort, customization, and craftsmanship with a lift. Save big on the uplifting comfort series from Best Home Furnishings. Rest easy and stand with ease. Uplifting comfort recliners come in over 20 styles and 700 covers. Choose from many sizes and styles featuring uplifting comfort's gentle power lift. Furniture that's made to give you years of comfort and relaxation. The uplifting comfort series from Best Home Furnishings. ABC 7, Fox 22, and Next Home Experience want to send you to see Leonard Skinner live in concert on their Big Wheels Keep On Turning Tour with special guests Marshall Tucker Band and The Outlaws Sunday, July 3rd at the Main Savings Amphitheater in Bangor. Sign up to win tickets by registering at Next Home Experience in Bangor. Get looped and get sold today.
Win tickets to see Leonard Skinner July 3rd on the Bangor waterfront. Summer is just around the corner, and so are huge savings on all your favorite brands, including Benjamin Moore Paints and Hunter Douglas Shades. Color Concepts, 840 Hammond Street, Bangor. Tonight, the little girl who played dead to stay alive, the parents of a slaughtered child, and the Buffalo Massacre victims' families testify their powerful voices fight for gun reform. World News Tonight with David Muir is the most watched program on all of television. Finally tonight, the Maine State Police will welcome nine new members to the force after they all pass the good dog test. This Friday, nine different canine teams will graduate from the Maine State Police's Canine Patrol School. The teams train for 14 weeks at the Canine Center, located next to the Maine Criminal Justice Academy in Vassalboro. The Canine Patrol School provides more than 200 acres of land for practical and classroom training. The new members are trained in obedience, protection, and searches, in addition to tracking criminal apprehension and locating lost children and the elderly. The program is certified under the New England State Police Administration's conference, and really great to see uh, the I think the largest class ever graduate. It's certainly a, ver a very large class, and you know they do so much. They do.